Hey everybody, welcome back. We are on, I think it's number six, um, the blushing. Now this is a fun one. Well, depends on who you are. Sometimes I can screw it up really bad or it comes out really nice. <laughs> it just depends. Now, <coughs> you can, before you do this, add you can add flush layers excuse me throughout this whole thing if you want now I thought I was going to do it after each um, mottling layer but I didn't do that this time but and I don't think I'm gonna do it right now I'm gonna add the blushing and then do the flush tones but you can do them throughout the whole thing if you like if you're thinking that the kit is too light or doesn't have like everything that we've done up to this point is underneath the skin what it looks like underneath the skin so I'm I think I'm gonna add the flush layer last because we got blushing and then after blushing is the flush layer so even if you do the um, flush layers by the mottling and stuff, you're still gonna add this last, okay? Now, after I do the blushing part, and you're gonna use red, I use red. You can use like a pink or make this, mix this with some white to make a pinky color, you know, like blush, you know, like blush color. I use red and I use, um, I don't I don't think I've ever toned it down because my um, this stuff lightens it up when I put it in so I don't usually like uh, lighten it up the pink I leave it now you're going to need your your um, <sighs> sponge or a new sponge, whichever. I'm gonna use the one that I have here. And I have another one just in case, but we're gonna use that one. I'm gonna get my brush wet and I'm going to get some red, one brush. And I'm making a new batch. I'm not gonna use my old one because I want this one to be fresh. You can use your old one if you want but I am going to just use this one. Now, I like the cheeks kind of reddish anyways, so I'm not going to add a white. I do have white. I can add a drop if I want it more pink, you know, not as bright, but I'm gonna leave it at that. We're gonna see, because this is gonna go on so watery. You know, it's, it's watery. See, it's really see-through, really see-through. So we're gonna start, now blushing is, let me read it before I do it. Okay, blushing, she mixes hers with um, different paint. She uses, um, I think she was using um, the FX kind of paint <clears throat> and she just used three drops of red okay and then she did a little teeny bit of the blue I'm not gonna do that I'm not gonna add blue to it because it, it it'll make it purpley colored if you do that if you want to I'll read it to you it says three drops of red half or half a swipe of the brush I did a full swipe but you can your half a brush and then you're going to use just a very tip of your brush of this um, blue this color blue I'm not gonna do that and water your water to make it really translucent now this is the red I made when I did this is right here this color it's not this color it's this color it's really pretty 
So you are going to need, um, like I said, a brush, a sponge, you know, you're going to do the palm of the hand in the palm of the hand. Like you, you can't, well, let me take this off. See right in here, see how red this is on me? You're going to use the palm of your hand. You're going to make that red. Um, the knuckles up here, you're going to make them red. The cheeks, mine are always red. Um, the soles of the feet. So I do like right here down, you know, the outskirts, not, not the arch, but around here in the heel. You're going to use the tip of the toes. Mine are kind of white right now, but they're not going to be. They're going to be red when I'm done. And then the ankle, if you can see that you're going to put a little bit on each ankle and elbows, the elbow and the knees and the forehead right here and the chin. And I also put it on the nose because I want the nose to be a little bit red. So that's what we're going to do. If you want to do that color, let's see what it's going to look like. We will add the blue, okay? And we need just the tip of the brush. <coughs> okay, just the tip of the brush. Just the tip. And you're gonna add it in here. And it changes it a lot, see? It's like that maroon color now. See, and you didn't even add very much of that blue. It's more of a maroony color, but when I did it this way, like I used the half a brush of the red, it's more like a pinky maroon color. So this is close enough. So it's this color. Oh, if you can see. Let's see, see what color it is? And let me show you. It's kind of a it's not red red, so it's maroony red. So let's, I'll show you what I do. We'll get this on here. Do the nose, do tap the nose, tap the chin. Okay, now with red and blue, it does stain. Okay, so the longer you leave it on there, it's gonna stain it. And we don't want it to look horrid but we do want it to look red. And I'll probably do this a couple of times. I do the top of the ears too, a little bit. It just adds a pink. You do across the forehead, okay? That's all I do is just across the forehead. And you can do it like this, you know, like, like that. See how see-through it is? Even though it doesn't look it there. See how see-through it is? Okay, dab that off. And you don't really see a lot. The cheeks. This is where sometimes I have a hard time because it is so watery. See, it's wa way watery. To me, it doesn't stick very well for me. And I like to see a little bit. And so I usually do this. See, you can't even tell. And I want to be able to tell. It's, it's like it's not really red. So because it's so see-through, um, let's... We'll keep that aside. Let's try, let's try, okay. Let's do eight drops of water. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I think it equals out to the same thing. Yeah, almost the same thing. So I would do, because it's really watery, I would do half of this. Just do half. 
you're still going to need these colors. Let's put in the emulsion. Put in one. Okay. Let's rinse this. I could probably use another brush out together. I want to use this one. Okay. So it says to use a half a brush. So let's do half a brush. And that's just one side. See, this side don't have any. This side does. Add that half a brush of red. Okay. I don't like the way, I like the color, but I don't like how thin it is. That's why I'm redoing it. Okay, so we don't need that. And it said the tip, or oh, one drop, if you're using the thing, and this is gonna be the tip. And that's the tip and add the blue. And it makes it that maroony color. And it's thicker than this one. See, I'll show you. Can you see? Oh, let's do it. See how, see how thicker it is? See, it's thicker. Now look at this one. It's not as, see, it's more see-through. So we'll put that one aside and we'll try this one. Okay, let's try again. Let's see, let's do that. Ooh, that's better. See, you can see it. That is better. And I will bounce. and I will do this a couple of times because I want it dark. I want it the red. And we'll do here and here. The forehead. Or you can do it across. Whichever way you want. If you don't want red up here, don't do it. It's all on how you want it to look. I had a hard time, and I still do. I know what I want the doll to look like, but I don't know how to achieve it. That's my problem. And that's where I needed to look at all the tutorials because I didn't know how to make the cheeks really red other than to actually put the paint directly on and not, see? and leave it there for a minute, let it soak in. And then I will take it off. You can see it better now and I'll show you. Hopefully you can see it on video. I don't know if you'll be able to. I can see it and it's making it redder. We don't want it like like mine, you know, but we want it redder. And I want her nose red, and I want her chin red. And you can use the excess off of your sponge instead of dipping it on here. Just keep. Okay, hopefully you can see the red. Yeah, you can. See, it's redder. See, it's redder. Her nose is redder. Her little chin is redder. Perfect. Much happier with it. So I'm glad I changed it. Because that wasn't right. Okay. I still want a little more on her chin. I don't want where I don't know where the glitter is coming from. Okay, 
and then I'll just tap her cheek a little bit more with the extra. See, you can see her cheeks are red now. See? Ah, isn't she cute? Okay. And I really don't want her forehead to be really red, but I do want it to be red where those crinkles are. Um, so you can add a little bit more in the crinkles. Okay, now my purple, that's better, see, more red, so you can see more red. Now my purple, where's my purple? Right here. I didn't do this with you the other day, but I'm gonna do it with you now. Get your purple out, mix it up, if you haven't gotten rid of it yet. Okay, you are going to take um, let me use a smaller brush. Use a small brush. And I'm going to swipe the eyelid. Because she has closed eyes and they're puffy, I want her eyes, I want that purpley look. And, uh, what are we gonna wipe it with? I don't have another sponge. Sometimes they say, well, we'll just use this one to tap it out. Okay. See, it's more purpley. The purple. Let's get, make sure you get all the water out of it. Okay. See, it's more purpley. It adds a little bit to her. So your cheeks are red. See? And I did the top of her ear, her nose. Let's do that right there. And let's do her nose a little bit more. So if you don't like it, you can always go over it again, guys. Okay. Now, there's her nose. I made her nose. A little redder, her cheeks are redder. I don't know if I want them any redder than that. Let's, well, maybe we'll do it one more time. We'll do it one more time to make it cute. Make it a little more red. Make it a little more red. See, when I was doing this with Tanner in the beginning, what happened was, as I wasn't using gloves, okay, and my fingers, when I was holding the doll, I was holding it like this on the cheeks, and it made it so the paint wouldn't stick. I had a clear section right there, and I'm like, why isn't the paint sticking? What the heck? I couldn't figure it out. And it was because my fingers, the oils from my fingers got on there. And so there was a spot where the paint would not stick. So usually when that happens <clears throat> is that you have oils in there or you didn't varnish it right. Or not varnish, I don't want to use that word. You didn't prime it right. Okay. See her cheeks a little more red. She cute. Oh my hair. Okay, now this is what you're gonna do with all of your and this is what I do that takes so long. This this video is it's already 20 minutes, guys. <laughs> and I haven't even done the limbs, okay? This is where I'll go in and do more creases right here with this color. And it'll, it'll come up a lot better. And then I will do the inside of the mouth and the lips, okay? I'll go through the creases again and maybe a little bit inside the ear. Okay, for the head, okay? So I spent a lot of time doing that, and I shouldn't have. I'll go back to that. So I'm gonna leave the purple here because I don't know if I'm gonna do her eyelids again. I don't think I will. Okay, so now mix up your this red. I call it red. 
you're gonna put it on the elbows, okay? And you're gonna let it, don't let it run too far. Try to keep it in the area that you want it, okay? And there should have been a crease line here, and there's not. So I'm gonna have to fix that, okay? And it, and it, it's red, but it's, it's not, you know, it, it's red, you can see it. It just depends on how red you want it. Now, I usually like the palms red. Okay. And the tip of the thumb. Really red. I'm not gonna leave it like that. I'm just letting it set for a minute so it'll stick. But I don't want it to stick on the fingers a lot. So I will move it along, move it along, soak up the red, because red stains, guys. It stains. Now for the fingernails, because there's still red on this sponge, I'm just going to jot on the, let's see, let me show you the other one. See, you can see the red, way different, okay, it's still not red enough for me, and this is just trial and error, I don't know, it it's to your liking, you know, and you're going to do the knuckles. You're going to do the knuckles. Okay. And we're going to dab again. And you want to make sure you get the water out. So you're going to need a brush to get that water out. Dab the knuckles, get the water out. Don't want the water in there. Okay, and I'll probably go through this particular thing. See, it's getting redder, you can tell, see? And you'll, you do it slowly, because you can always add more. Okay, and that's what I'm doing. I'm sorry this video is a little long. Okay, I added more to the knuckles. I want more in, on the knuckles. Okay, and you're gonna do the tips of the fingers, okay? Now see, my, my creasing is all gone here. So I'm and all gone down here. So I'm gonna have to do creasing again on the hand, which I'm not happy about, but I'll have to make some more of that up. This is the creasing color, the darker color. I'm gonna have to do that. And sometimes you will do this all at once, okay? You're doing the blushing, and you're like, oh crap, I need more of that. So you're gonna do it why you can and to make it look nice before you do your final um, skin layer, okay? And I don't know if I want her elbows to be that red. Her hand is good, I think. I'm gonna add some more creases, and I'll probably go through that again. Now this is this is probably gonna take me a couple of hours, and we're at 24 minutes, and I just showed you the head and the arm. Let me show you the foot, because I'm gonna be doing this for a little while, <laughs> and I'm gonna go back. So while you're doing this, 
You can get your purple out, look at the eyelids if you've got closed eyes, okay? If you're happy with it, you can put the purple away. Um, the uh, maroon creasing color, like what we did, um, you're gonna mix that up again. See, I think I'm gonna have to add maybe a little bit more water. I don't know, because I want it kind of thicker so it'll go into the lines. Now, her foot creasing looks fine. So, after I put this red on, so you're gonna go here, here you wanna do this over because it's gonna drip. Tops of the toes, you're gonna go around. You don't wanna do the arch, okay? You wanna do, you're gonna do the ankles. Okay, there you go, ankle, ankle, bottom of the foot. Okay, so now we are going to dab the wet off make sure you get in between the toes you don't want that on there okay you just want it a little pink actually I like the feet red so I'm gonna keep doing this until I achieve the color I want okay and like I said if the creases are diminishing you can go back and do those you don't have to just make sure you get this out of the toes area okay and we haven't even done the toenails yet <laughs> okay and I just where they're flat foot I just take the red and just kind of dab the foot the top of the foot um, you can add what's on the brush without dipping it again. Dip the top of the toes. Okay, dip this again. And you can leave it there first. You don't wanna leave it too long because you don't want it inside the creases. You gotta make sure that you get it out. I get it out the best I can. I try. See, there's this foot. Let me show you this foot. See, you can barely see. It's going to need like four or five layers. So I'm going to be doing this for a while. So, um, do your knees. Don't let it run. Try to keep it contained. Leave it there for a minute. Go back while that's sitting. Don't let it run. Do the tops of the toes again. Tops of the foot, you know, up top here. You can have it set on the ankles because you haven't dipped your brush again so that it's not running as much. So now you wanna that's been sitting for a minute. You wanna dip this, and it's, I'm, I'm not liking it because it's not, it's fine on the ankles, because it's showing up, but it's not showing up for me on the knees like I want. And sometimes when it does this, I get really petite, perturbed, and I will take, um, I will make this just a tad bit thicker. <laughs> Not much, just a little, because it's already thick, but I'm gonna be sitting here doing this for an hour. I don't want it to drip. I just want the knees to look red, okay? And when you put your flush layer on, it's gonna, um, it's gonna blend it. It's not going to take it away, but it's going to blend it. So I kind of want it looking a little more red right now than, yeah, I guess it is. Okay, let me show you. That's better. How many did I do? Three, four? Okay, that looks better. You can see the red. Okay, now look at this one. 
because I haven't done it. See, it's more red. I'm happy with that now. <laughs> so I just got to remember what I'm doing. I just got one hand. I'll just go through it and look at them. So this is going to take me a little bit, guys. And I will be back to show you the end, what I ended up doing, because I'm, I'm just playing around with this color right here. I'm going to continue to add color on the heel. I'm going to continue to add color and let it kind of set. Okay, so it looks like that. I really like it that red. <laughs> and I'll try to achieve that. It won't be like wet, but I'm going to try to achieve that color. See, I did the knee. You can see the knee now. I'm going to try to achieve that color by letting it set. Because I want that red. I will try to get the tips of the toes. I don't know. It's, it's my preference. I like it that way. But, you know, maybe somebody that wants to buy it won't like it that way. You know what I mean? I like the little feet red. I don't like, if you don't put them where they're red, you just see the, cre you know, you just see the creases and it just, I don't know, the red adds, the, the red adds something for me more realism or whatever. I don't know. I just like it better. So I'll keep doing this. I mean, shade by shade by shade. So I'm doing it again. <laughs> okay. And then I'll let it set. Let me see if I can do this ankle again because this one isn't red. The other side's fine. The other side's perfect. So let's try this again. I mean, it's getting there and I can see it, but it's probably going to take me. This is what takes so long, guys, because a lot of people mix the colors, you know, to achieve this maroon. You know, they mix blue, they'll mix red, they'll add yellow to it, they'll add you know, and they keep mixing it until it's the color that they want. I don't do that other than the green. Sometimes I will do it. <clears throat> like this one. I don't know. It's just taking forever for it to soak in for me. I don't know why. I'm not. I don't know. I'm not liking. So let's try again. That's probably the sixth time. I don't know. But it's starting to take effect. And I'm going across the top of the toes after each time to make the toes a little color. You know, making sure it doesn't pull inside the toes. It's starting to be more like I want it. And you just take your sponge because you still have water on it and you still attach. Oh. It just looks wet, but it's not, it's not pulling. See, you can tell, see, I want right here that you can, to definitely see the ankle's fine, ankle's fine, the knee's fine, and you can tell the foot's red, but it's not the red I want it to be. See, you can tell, see, between this one and this one. You can tell the difference now, see? And you can see the yellow tone. But I still want it a little bit redder. So I'm going to mess around with this. 
to get like that. And I'm gonna do the creases on that hand. And then your fingernail, in fact, I got three different colors here. I got this color, this color. See the different color reds? This is the one I'm doing for the, for the blushing, is this color. This one is too watery, okay? And this one is the, um, is the creases color. It's more of a red, you know, a deeper red color. And that's what I'm gonna do the creases with. Move my stuff out of the way here. Okay, so I'm gonna do cre the creases with that color. I'm still gonna go back through and do the rest of the blushing, okay? Now the purple, we might use that a little bit in the fingernails, like at the bottom. So keep this one in this one, you may have to mix this up again, depending. Um, but we're gonna do the nails, so I'll be, I'll be, I'll be back soon as I get this part done. Okay, this is gonna be a longer video, guys. It's probably gonna be longer because I want to keep this in one video because the last part is doing um, the the skin, the skin tone. Okay, and then. After the skin tone, we're, we're happy with it and everything. This, that's when you add like your milk dots, um, your scratches, if you want scratches, um, that kind of stuff. Um, and then we varnish. So I will be back. All right. Well, welcome back. We are done doing that. So let me show you how it came out. Um, I did the lips and I used a combination of all those reds to get that color. Now the inside the mouth I used the crease, the darker one, and put that inside so it would stain better and just tap it out and everything. And the cheeks are red, we see the red. I redid some of the creases here and did the little right here and it's more pink on on there than in real person whatever but it's pinky and it'll dull down when I put the flush tone on so I redid that you can still see the purple on the eyelids and I didn't do anything with the ears I'm gonna leave those alone um, one is more pink than the other, so you can take your wet um, red sponge and kind of tap on it, which I'm doing right now, and make it more red. See? And just, you're not using any paint, you're just using what's on here and just tapping and to to help it blend okay I wanted to show you that we did that and then I probably should put my gloves on that's okay the nose so there's the I didn't do any more creasing on the bottom and you can see this is the main color of the kit when you get it in the mail and then the layers so she's not like really dark okay so it may look kind of like that but it's it's really not it's it's really not it's just shades above and you're doing all the undertones so we've done all the underneath the skin stuff <laughs> so her little chin is red you can see that but you can see the hint of yellow her little nose is like a bright red like a a maroony red and you can kind of see the yellow between it and i got a boo boo on mine and her cheeks are that red color there's a little bit right here I don't want a lot of red on the forehead but with this with this sponge you can add some red to the forehead right here so you're not really adding like extensive amount but you're adding color 
more color if you want because there's a lot of built up in this sponge okay so we're not adding more paint on we're just using what's in the sponge okay and I'll show you in just a second because I've made her cheeks way red now which I'm way happy about I like the color so and we're just adding a little bit of color in places that don't really have any and it's just blended okay so her cheeks are really red now she got color she's gonna be so cute when she's all done okay so there's her face and her hands you can see the red versus here her elbow is red now I don't know if you can see the fingernails I added some purple at the very end and then the red on top of it so you can kind of see it on this one and um, so the nails are done I did add a little more creasing in the little knuckles I added a little bit of red up here on the forearm because she is or he is whatever is um, see the red is um, full 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 limb okay I did the same over here this, the hand is red you can see the nails are and the little elbow is red so that one is done and then the, the knees, the feet are red. See, they're red. You can add more blue in here if you want it to be more blue, but I'm not going to. And then the toenails on this one. And the tops of the toes are, are like a pinky color. Okay. And like I said, they're still red inside this sponge so you can blend it some more if you want okay all right so there's that one and then here's this one elbows are red the feet's red underneath is red the toes tips are red and I don't know if you can see the nails Got a pink, uh, no, purple and reddish hue to them. So that is it for blushing. Now you could spend a couple of days just doing that because you're doing the fine touches and you could do the head one day and then the hands the next day and then the feet the next day if you want to spend a lot of time doing it. It's I've been down here since 1 p.m. And the first part of this was like 40 or so minutes. And then this is probably going to be another 10 to 15 minutes explaining and stuff. So it, it's taken four or five hours just doing this. But where it's a newborn size doll, I don't want to do... It would be even more so if it was preemie. Because preemies are more of a purpley color, you know. Like my hands are cold right now see how purple and red the tips are see versus and I think most of that is because I've been using um, the red paint at least I hope so or I'm, I'm in trouble <laughs> so there's that so we are done with all of that okay so the next video which I believe is going to be Saturday is because I'm going to let this dry and then we will do the um, flush color. Now, sometimes because it's kind of a red, if you want her to have a red undertone, your reds that you're using, like this one that's way watery, I would add just a little bit to this flush tone which is probably what I'll do is add a little bit of that color.
color to it. And so it blends in better. Just a tad though, I mean little. Little, 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 just a hint to add to the flesh tone, okay? Now, before that, you are going to do, oh, okay, after we do the flesh color, you can do one coat, two coats, however, how you want it to look, how it blends in. Um, sometimes I do just two and we're good. And then, um, so, this next part, after you do the flesh, okay, this is where you're going to do your um, extras. I kind of do them now before I put the flesh on. You can do the little pinprick in the bottom of the heel if you want. The little scratch, you can try to figure out how to do that if you want, okay. Um, on the eyelids, you can do the um, capillaries. Um, I'm not going to do any on it, on her. So, but the milk, the milk, um, dots, you take a toothpick, the very end of the toothpick, and in your cream color paint, like a cream color, like a, um, like a whitish flesh tone or whatever, you're going to dot it where you want it on the nose and stuff. I'm not gonna do any of this with this one. I'm not gonna do the scratch. I'm not gonna do any of that. But this is where you would do um, those things, okay? Ariel had to tell me she's going with her dad. Okay, so if you want to do that stuff, I would, um, you can. You know, I'm not gonna do any of that. So you got the pinprick, the scratches, the milk dots. And I would use a toothpick to make the dots. I mean, very tip of it. So you probably get a bunch of them and just do the very tip. I mean, the very, very tip of it. I'm not going to do any of that. I don't want to do any extras on here. So um, I'm just going to do the flush tone. and call it good. Okay, well, that's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoy. I'm gonna make the flush one because um, we'll, be we'll be done with that, and I will see you tomorrow. Okay, all right, bye.